Face five now, the tax and spend Democrat for president mantra to a person, even Michael Bloomberg. All the candidates for president among the Democrats believe that they are smarter than we the people. They believe that they know better how to spend our money, a.k.a. taxpayer dollars. Elizabeth Warren makes no bones about it. She wants to tax the American people like never seen before in world history. But right next to her is the Marxist socialist from Vermont, Bernie Sanders, who is now admitting that, yes, he will raise taxes on the so-called middle class in order to pay for his crazy Medicare scheme. The plan is to have a 4% tax on income exempting the first $29,000. That means if you're that median family making $60,000 a year, you are paying 4% of $31,000, which is $1,200 a year for comprehensive health care. On these core issues, like the two cent wealth tax, let them talk about it. Let them call whatever name they want. You talk about that two cent wealth tax, and here's the thing. It's popular, not just among Democrats, not just among independents. A majority of Republicans think it's a good idea. Now, what Republican in their right mind would support a punitive tax on wealth? Goes against Everything we are is a free market society. And by the way, Liz, Bernie, a wealth tax is unconstitutional. Joining me now from Dallas, Texas, co-founder and chief strategist of GDP Advisors, Seth Denson. Seth, if you believe Bernie Sanders, if you believe that it's only going to be 4% with a $29,000 exemption, if you believe it's only going to be 4%, nothing more, uh, and then you get all the free health care in the world that you would ever need, then I have a bridge in Brooklyn that's got the name Seth on it for sale. Yeah, and I'm not buying. Uh, <laughs> let's be real. Uh, the, the, none of this makes sense. And I, I love how Senator Warren tries to spin this and say, we're going to ask the wealthy to pay more. No, you're not. You're going to make them pay more. It's called confiscation, not taxation. It's unconstitutional, as you've already alluded to, and it, quite frankly, can't be done under the Constitution. It shouldn't be done. And I, by the way, I also talked to a lot of Republicans. I don't know a one that says that this was a good idea. And the, the attack by Bernie Sanders, it could be worse than even Elizabeth Warren's attack on the free market society. In the end, he would be confiscating 97.5% of income of the so-called called wealthy 97.5 percent i mean you basically should have a hundred percent tax there and then where goes the incentive right and, and in the end after 15 years they've calculated this seth and if you are a wealthy person you're going to see your wealth cut in half within 15 years if any of these buffoons these economic buffoons is elected but imagine seth what it would do to the economy and what it would do to investments and investors and the stock markets, it would freeze us in place. It would do catastrophic structural harm to what we try and do in a free market society. That's right. Wealth creates jobs in the United States. And, you know, uh, President Ronald Reagan understood this and most economists understand this, that poor people don't tend to give you jobs. That's just a reality. And it may sound crass, but it's the truth. And we need to speak the truth here. And so if you start taking away this wealth, and, and again, this is confiscation. We are absolutely not just double taxing. This is quadruple taxing, right? We're going to continuously tax this wealth that takes money out of the economy that goes into job creation, wealth inflation, and wealth growth, and innovation. It all goes. I just wish that one of these moderators at one of these Democrat debates would, would talk some common sense, some economic common sense like we are, and actually pin these people down on you know, how this is a confiscation and redistribution of wealth. Real quick, before I let you go, uh, Nancy Pelosi suddenly has interest in the USMCA. You know what that tells me, Seth? That maybe impeachment's not really going so well. Suddenly she's interested in, in getting the USMCA delivered. Well, that's right. She needs to get it delivered, but she also needs to protect her union interests. So I think her her all of a sudden attention is recognized that maybe this impeachment thing isn't going to go her way, and she's going to have to deal with Trump getting this USMCA done, and she needs to make sure she's protecting her labor unions in the process. And she says ostensibly she's trying to protect the environment. Well, I've read the USMCA, and there are provisions in there, that are strong provisions to uh, protect the environment from uh, in all three countries. Seth, thank you.